Yeah, 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 yeah. Internets, you were tuned in to the Combat Jack Show. Oh, uh, get ready for Sag. combat. Yes, sir. Sandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get ready for combat. It's been a while since we've been on yeah, yeah. live and yeah, yeah. direct. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on, Internets? How y'all feeling out there? It's your host, man. Combat Jack. You picked a hell of a day to have us recording this podcast, Combat. Hey, man, it don't ever stop, B. It no, ever, it stops. It don't ever stop. Man. It will I, I stop. stop. It stopped last week. Huh? It stopped last week. Sandy, we shut today. that bitch down. <laughs> fuck Sandy. San- fuck Sandy, yeah. Fuck Sandy. Sandy. Sandy was pegging motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy put a strap on. Sandy was like, Con Ed, here, take some of this. All right, New Jersey, here. Hey, let me give it to you from the side. <laughs> uh, uh. Breezy Point. Breezy Point. I seen y'all yeah, with Breezy your clan Point, hoodies and, and your black face. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Sandy was giving it to motherfuckers. Yeah, Sandy Breezy it. Point got it doggy style. That's Yo, um, just- Breezy Point got it from ass to mouth. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Now, now Just, I know you were affected personally by, by Sandy. Yeah. Um, it was real. I mean... Th- it's one of those things where people. You know, I live. Uh, the evacuation. I didn't mean zone. to give you the, the mic while oh. you were oh. chomping on the pizza. No, that's cool. The um, the evacuation zone was uh, on my corner. Mm. Technically, I didn't have to evacuate, but like I said, I'm right there. Right. Um, I live on the water downtown, and um, no, they Numenati. They um, they evacuated most of the neighborhood. My thing was, if something happens and I'm gone, the damage is only going to get worse. Right. Say my window's blowing. Now, are you on ground level? Or are you? No, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm on. The, I'm on the top two floors. Of my okay. Building, six okay. Seven. If the, if the windows blow in, I'm not worried about flooding. But if the windows blow in, um, most of my workstation, my work, my home office is right next to two windows that aren't that substantial. Right. So I had a feeling I was going to leave and come back to a disaster. And I mean, that's where everything is. That's where my my life is there. You Money. Know, my computers. There was some money there. It would have blew so, away. Uh, Are you, do you back up, you know, do you back I your back, work up? I, I back my work up, but I don't back up off-site. So all my backups, my, all my backups reside on two servers, mm-hmm. but they're both in-house. Mm-hmm. Um, right next to these two windows. Actually, oh, my God. Actually, since we're on camera, you might want to wait. Is that even backing up, Just? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a little sick right now. Yeah. Just, is that even backing up? I mean, I mean, this is no, stuff well, that you're working on constantly. Back, but it's backups of my laptops and my other remote computers. Mm-hmm. Um, you had your money backed up, too? No, that you can't back up. Okay. You know, the cash, you can't back up the can't, cash. Can't back up the cash. But, um, end of the day, long story short, I stayed, I weathered through it. Um, now, wasn't that dangerous, though? No, it was very dangerous. I had windows, my window, and those windows that I thought would give, did give. The, your windows gave while you were in the apartment? Yes. Um, Damn. I had ran next door to my neighbor's apartment, and they were having a little hurricane just gathering. Do, do we have a hurricane sound effect? We don't have a hurricane sound effect. And, um, and something just told me, like, something just told me, go back next door. Hurricane. Now, as soon as I walked in. Hurricane. As soon as I walked in. Boom. Windows blew out. Damn. And it was perfect timing. Ran over there, but I was prepared. I, 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 it was dangerous, but I was prepared. Right. I had, like, 20 things of canned food. I mm. had, like, I had mad water. I had duct tape. I, had my, I was ready. To, I was ready to get my MacGyver. Yes. Yeah, so plus, he's got the right Polo Ralph Lauren clothing too. If he has to like rappel out of his building, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean, he's got the, ro- the I had, ROX. I had rope. Yeah, I had, I had candles. I, I had know candles. you. You got the Rescue Expedition RLX. Yes, I, so I mean, I had open flame. You know, you allowed to give CPR with that, with those jackets on, those Rescue Expedition RLX joints. I'm just saying, give CPR to the right people, just All right. You know, now, only now, pretty neighbors. Now, did you have any anti? Post-apocalyptic zombie equipment. Uh, no, but what I no, I, well, yes, I I, I, had, I had some firearms, you had know, some just firearms. in case. Okay. I had some weapons. I had a pickaxe, had a regular axe to the head. Yes, Desert Eagle. One two to, to the, the head. Face, yes, done. But um, what I was not prepared for was grills flying off of people's roof decks and through windows, through your windows, and chairs seven floors up that were from the street flying up that high. And they were in your apartment? Yes, I'd never been that scared of wind in my life. And them shits was flying around in your apartment like some exorcist type shit? Yeah, it was insane. Because um, once the windows blew, it was just the full force of everything from outside. Come, it's, it's, you ever see like when the, in the movies when a when an airplane... Somebody, pressure. The pressure. Yes. And everything comes flying. It was like that. So all of a sudden things just started flying in from outside. How long did that last, B? Um, luckily, that was the... Sh- uh, it didn't last too long. That was the strongest... That was, that's when the wind was at the strongest, around 10, 30, 11 maybe. Right. And I got my windows taped up. I had protect. You know, I had the plastic and everything ready, and the cardboard ready. 
And shortly after I did that, the wind died down. But uh, it, it was it was a crazy experience. And then even like the day after, it was really like like the day after tomorrow, like that movie. You know, just going through Lower Manhattan, right? And just um, I mean, you know, like I said, I live on the water. So if you went to like Water Street or Front Street, um, which are which is where the seaport is, everything was just demolished. submerged. Yeah, like uh, you know, two two restaurants that a friend of mine owns under uh, twelve feet of water. Uh, the groom that I take the dogs to, 14 feet of water. Um, and it's just the streets themselves. There were cars still floating down the street. It was, I never seen anything like Floating, that. like yes. they were like boats. Yeah. How Float. about the nanny? How's the nannies in uh, flooded? What the hell's the nanny? Well, I said you went to the groomer, the next door neighbor. What about the nanny? You don't have a nanny? No, nah, I don't have oh, okay. a nanny. I don't have a dog nanny. Th- this is the type of shit I wish I had, like a fucking canoe. You know what I mean? <laughs> or like a kayak. People just jet skis out. They had that. What, what about a, a gondola? Like People you're in like Venice. The but, but a gondola, that's to me, that's more servicey. You, you I want to be on some shit where, like, you know, if, if I got a canoe, I might could save somebody mm-hmm. or I might could not. In Staten Island, they had a rescue service with a blown up raft. And mm. uh, cops were literally uh, going through streets, going, going through, through streets, residential on, streets on the canoe, you know, well, the raft with the with the oars. Had an, and, oars, no motor on that shit. No, nah, there's no motor on it. They didn't have a motor on it, and they were literally just g- grabbing people and and then taking them back, you know, and then gra- going back in and grabbing them like literally. I saw a dude doing that on a jet ski, just going here, took his jet ski out. Right out the garage, right into the water, going picking people up, bringing them to higher. That's ground. crazy. That's man. the thing. Cool I, I want to do some heroic like that, but I only want to do it with pretty victims. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't want, like, no ugly people. Because in, in, in the apocalypse or holocaust or whatever, some kind of, you know, disaster event. You got to pick who you're going to be the survivors I, with. Well, you want to propagate the human race. You don't want the, ugly people the, left around. That, that was, uh, I want to be the ugliest motherfucker left. They're already going to be victims or they're going to become victims? Well, I mean, the, the choice is yours. <laughs> no black sheep. <laughs> Listen, the, in Staten Island on Midland Beach... You know, they had that um, raft and, you know, rescuing people. Uh, speak, it's funny how Dallas says we're pretty victims because there was this couple, I see, I got to find the picture, that um, it was a big family, you know, and they all were overweight. Right. So, I mean. Uh, yeah, they have to die. Yeah. <laughs> you, you had to let them, uh, send them back in the beach. Obese people? They were obese. <laughs> yeah. The beach. Obese. You have, like, I want to be the fattest motherfucker Dallas, surviving. Do you have anything against obese people? Other obese people. I, 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 <laughs> I can safely say I hate everybody. <laughs> you hate everybody. Obese people, <coughs> black people, smart people, Spiders? white people, pretty Spiders. people. But Spiders, what Mexicans. About, what about pretty people? Well, I don't hate pretty people, but I, I'm like, you know what? Let's continue the earth with pretty people. There you go. 